Hey guys, my name is Rob Hargraves. Uh, about two years ago, I was on a trail run with a buddy, and as I'm running, I get this name in my head that I just could not shake. I could not get this name out of my head. So the trail run ends, and I turn to my buddy and I say, hey, I gotta go home and call Tony Bloom. God wants me to call Tony Bloom. So I get home and I call Tony, and I tell him why I call him, and I tell him that, hey, God wanted me to call you, he put you on my heart, and we have a great conversation about faith, about family, and about some health issues that he's been having with his stomach. So two days later, uh, he gets a call, some pretty devastating news from his doctor, and I knew instantly that that is why God put him on my heart, that he wanted me to stand behind Tony and his family and kind of walk him through this trial, be close to him. That's the message I got was, keep Tony close. So I have had the privilege over the last two years to get to know Tony pretty well. Um, I, we've done a lot of projects together. We've had a lot of uh, time together just to process what he's going through. And I have seen an amazing faith demonstrated in the most difficult of circumstances. So I consider it an honor and a privilege to know Tony. He is my friend, he's my brother in Christ. And so that's who I'm introducing at this time because he has a story to tell. I'd like to introduce to you Tony Blue. In 2017, I was diagnosed with stage three esophageal cancer. And our family was just flipped upside down. And uh, through this journey with the cancer, uh, we've really seen the church love on us. And, you know, I started with being angry. Um, I didn't want it to be true. And then I wanted to fix it so my family wouldn't have to suffer and go through this big trial. But, you know, we didn't, we didn't isolate. Uh, and I believe that uh, God tells us to be, to love one another and be there for each other. So by not, by not being quiet and to ourselves, you know, we let the church know what's happening to us. And, and they really came alongside us. We had meals prepared for us. We received gift cards, cash, words of encouragement. We also had people care for our children. We even had people go as far to arrange and pay for some getaways for Amanda and I. I, I even have a chemo buddy, I call him. He takes me to chemo, my treatments, and sits with me and brings me home. And that just, just means the world to me, you know. I'm not alone, don't have to do it alone. My wife doesn't have to take time off work. So, uh, you know, everything like that helps. Helping Hands has put many, many man hours into helping us make sure my home is in good condition and our property is well cared for. You know, in the event that I do pass, Amanda won't have that extra burden to worry about. And that's just been a big deal to us. And I, and I love the way they've been the hands and feet of Jesus to us. So my journey is not over yet. Uh, still dealing with cancer treatment. Uh, my family still doesn't know if it's going to be cured or not. The kids just want to know when the cancer is going to be done, and I don't have an answer for them. You know, when I, when I before I knew Christ, I wandered hopelessly, without direction or purpose, and and since I've known Christ, you know, He's given me hope and a purpose and meaning and I and I just want to be doing what I can to encourage others to know him to point everything toward Jesus and if I can do that with whatever time I have left that's that's what I want to do that's my heart to do that <laughs>